Okay, now let's go back to um, to application. All right. Um, now the first part where you need to to run or to do is the to build a model. So when you click on the model it, you're gonna see all these steps, and there are different functions. So if you are not familiar with SketchUp or AutoCAD or Revit, you can just you know mod build a model using model it. All right. Um, the next application or module that is available in um, IES is the solar analysis. So this is Suncast, and the Suncast module functions as a solar shading analysis. So when you click on the solar shading analysis, um, you can see uh, a different icon is available, and the top part here, the menu, you can see Suncast, right? A site where you can choose the different site, image, and this is to to print out or to produce what type of image or what type of simulation you can um, you know um, do and this is to calculate the solar shading for Apache and other options that is um, to uh, you know to edit when you want to do the simulation okay and the button here is the uh, suncast button which is this is like a, a direct button so you can load settings if you have settings which is um, in a other projects you're going to use the same settings so you just load it here and um, scripting is for uh, people who know Python programming and this is to choose the site plan where you want to put a north point the sun path diagram is the, is a plugin or a product inside the IES to show you how the sun path looks like in different location okay so this is for London and Heathrow so if you want to show a Malaysian a location you just click here double click the bottom part here you can see London Heathrow Ashray uh, climate zone so you just change the location so normally we just use wizard it's going to be easier and oh sorry Okay, just put in location if you want, or you know where you, this uh, exact latitude or longitude. Otherwise, if you're not uh, familiar, just choose location only. Alright, and let's go to Asia. And, uh, I'll say, Malaysian is not in Asia. It's in Australia, Asia, Pacific. Okay, hold on. Okay, welcome back. And um, for site location, to select for Malaysia, you have to go to um, Australasia and Pacific because we're actually in the Pacific uh, Island. So, um, no, it's not. In the, uh, we are actually in the Pacific area. So, there is Malaysia. Now, for your information, why we don't have all the other um, location that you want is because this is a weather file. So, normally the weather file comes from. Um, Airports that is available around Malaysia, and normally this airport they have a updated weather file. So this simulation is a it's a dynamic simulation. So they use uh, real weather, and um, if you you know the, the one that is available or is uh, embedded uh, include together in this IES software is the 20 years of um, report that they build and they in embed or include in the software. So if you want the latest um, update on the weather, you have to go to the Met Service or the Malaysian um, Meteorological Service or the button Kaji Cuaca Malaysia. So you can buy the um, the data, weather data from them, and can input it, input in the um, the software. But I'll show you that later if you if you want to. So let, let's say um because we are li living somewhere in Perak, so let's choose a city one. There's actually a Setiawan airport, a small airport where they used to um, to to spray and pesticides and um, fertilizers for crops near Setiawan. Okay, so let's choose this. And all right, so go to weather data. Oops, so you can see this is not actually the Malaysian um, weather, so I have to go back. All right. Okay. So if you have any other information, you can just go to ground factors and change this um, this number here. And this is not in winter. Design data selection with it. Let's try it. Still in Malaysia. Select. Okay.
okay and acquired Zen data okay so let's check uh, yeah so now we know that this is the Malaysian weather so the minimum um, the, the minimum temperature is 25 degrees and the maximum can go up to 32 so if you look at the list here this is a uh, an average data that they have for a 20 years period uh, information so they make a calculation and do an average so you see that uh, for the whole year and the highest temperature will be on the month of May which is um, well right now okay now um, so all right so this is the Apache SIM with the data so let's go and select the nearest get rid of data or select or nearest Kuala Lumpur yep okay all right um, since that we are not going to build anything in UK so this one is not available I mean it's not relevant okay now with the calendar no the simulation calendar here is to um, to provide or put in input the information where if you have a holiday or long holiday so you can put it inside here this is uh, to make sure that they have an accurate uh, simulation so if you have a Hari Raya Puasa or a Tang Baru China and um, well other you know long 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 holiday so you can put in so you know that, that during these days the office are not very operational and they're not going to include any calculation so it's going to be more accurate okay so let's just leave this uh, as it is we're going to change that okay and click save okay all right all right close and to make sure that you have the correct data see at the bottom there this is the one there this is what we want and this is not yet updated let's close this and just open it again now this is in Setiawan, so this is the Malaysian um, sun path diagram for Malaysia. Okay, the, the next button is a sun up and down. Um, this is where if you want to know the sunset and the sunrise, and this is uh, the graph for a sun up and down. Uh, and this is not updated yet. And the temperature. Okay. So this is if you want to start to do the sun shading calculation. So it seems that we don't have any model yet, so this is not relevant to do. Okay, so the next um, application that we're going to, to learn is the energy. Now normally this is, uh, uh, or typically this is the most part for uh, the core for IESVE um, is Apache um, module. So you have two here, the Apache Thermal Calculation and Simulation. And second part is the Apache HVAC. So uh, for uh, designers, they normally use this. Okay. And this is the calculation or they can provide us for information to understand the energy and other parameters or elements that's involved in the simulation. And they can provide an accurate output and can be used for uh, your, your study or the report. Okay. So when you click at the Apache, you can see that these things have been changed. The menu at the top, you can click Apache and the setting for building, the orientation or temperature that you can change. Well, we're not going to go that yet. And this is the icon. You can save or select the object. You can assign construction, room or so. Everything that is the, the main part to reduce simulation is in the Apache. However, before you run the Apache calculation, you have to make sure that you already done the suncast simulation first. Okay, because Apache calculation needs suncast to give an accurate uh, simulation or you know calculation for for thermal analysis. So without the solar analysis, there's not going to be an accurate um, thermal simulation there. All right, and um, this is the layer properties. Okay, edit selection for set attributes. This is um well we're gonna go into detail afterwards. And this is energy source meters. And energy is the type of energy that you use and the much of um, you know the, the rate of, of billing system. So in Malaysia that's gonna be from TNB. So if you know the, the rate of electricity, they can put it here so that we can calculate it how much energy or how much the price for energy that we use. Okay. So this is database and manager is profiling for the people 
and how the people behave in the building, how they consume the energy, how they use um, lighting or air conditioning or heating. But in Malaysia, we don't have heating, so it's just the air conditioning. Okay, and this is the construction database manager. If you can see that it's almost similar to the first part that you have, the assigned construction. Um, just to show, this is actually um, how we build the building. And because every material that is uh, input or embedded in the building will be really critical as this is the, the part or the, the factors that are going to affect the thermal calculation of the building. So you know when you start to click and um, well here view the construction so you have a lot of different constructions and they have different you know you value thicknesses and um, the thermal capacity of how it it um, transmit heat inside the building or outside the building okay so um, this is all of the um, tabs that you need to put in and you need to calculate so by default you can see this external wall this is sheet aluminium 2013 external wall and um, you can change this later on or you can make a new set of wall for Malaysia okay and um, the most part that we're going to use is the external wall internal partition ground exposed roof uh, doors glazing if you have and this is uh, this means that uh, the the ones that have been assigned in this this project so this one is actually a, a, a default so it doesn't mean that it's going to apply in your project it depends on um, no, if you apply it, it's going to see this one is been ticked. Okay, but this is not, so it's not yet been um, used in this program or in this project. Okay, so that's for Apache. So for Apache HBAC, it's a, it's a design. And normally for designers, they don't use this. But this is for engineers. This is how they want to design the um, heating, ventilating, air conditioning system. The ducting, the size of, uh, you know, the machinery and the cooling tower and also the ACU systems but um, we're going to skip this because for designers this is a bit, a bit too difficult for us to understand all right so the next uh, module is the uh, macro flow okay so i'm gonna um, save this part so let's uh, see you again later